I found another gem of a campsite and it's totally free. Check it out. Well, my friends, you are not going to believe this. So I woke up this morning at the Canyon Campground and decided I was just going to uh, come on down toward the south end of the park. I was not going to stay another night there. So I got my shower, I filled up with water there at the campground, dumped trash, and headed down to the south entrance. I just exited the park, just about two or three miles back, turned on this dirt road, came down it about five miles. Notice that this driveway is lined with wooden poles. This is a dedicated free campsite. There's about eight of them down here. This is uh, almost to the end and every other one was filled up. So I turned right up there off the main road, came down this driveway and look what I have discovered. It's one campsite. It says it on the sign up at the road. Only one site has its own toilet, its own trash receptacle, its own bear box, its own dedicated parking slot, and this is it. No other site around here. Look, <laughs> can you believe this? This has been jackpot week for me. I'm in the grasslands. This is called the grasslands. And uh, let's see, we're looking north now. The park is that way. This is toward the Grand Tetons. And when you come down the hill, you can see them. And that's uh, the park Tetons that way. I like saying that word, Tetons. Grand Tetons. <laughs> so I'm leaving room here in the driveway for vehicles to turn around because I am pretty sure people are going to come up here and say, oh darn, it's taken. So they're going to need a way to turn around. So I'm going to leave them all this room to turn around. Let's see if I'm even want to if I'm even going to want to use this thing or not. See how bad the smell is. Oh my gosh, it's clean. And there's no smell. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Got soap there, sanitizer. It's filled with toilet paper. You can help save a bear. Just pause that and find out how to save a bear. So there's a river. Oh, the door slammed. There's a river right over there. I really wanted a riverside campsite. But gosh, when I saw this, um, I couldn't pass it up. You know, I thought if I pass it, somebody's going to come by here and get it. There's a lot of people out here. I mean, every other campsite, they're, they're uh, spaced out like a half a mile between each site. But all the other sites, it's a group sites. It's like between two and five sites each. And it's just a big circle you park in. There goes a old Westphalia. Look at that. Kicking up some dust. But I don't mind it being a dirt road. You know, I am way off the road. For the last few months, I've always been camping along a dirt road. I always try to get as far away from it as possible. Keep the dust out of my lungs. So I do have one bar of cell service here, but it doesn't matter. Starlink's going to work perfect here. Let's see. All I have to do is have an open sky to the north so I can put the dish out right behind the van here I haven't even been back here I just pulled up I mean as soon as I did I grabbed the camera and jumped out I said oh my gosh oh my goodness I got a picnic table didn't even see that when I pulled up so I can just set the dish right here on the edge of the picnic table and uh, and it'll face probably up that direction so I do have some shade here. Probably won't need to set up any shade because I can just hang out in this area for shade. Put my table up and my chair over here. 
<laughs> There's my bear box. You hear those grasshoppers? They make that clicking noise. I see them over there by that pine tree. And uh, there's like a, uh, I'm wondering if the mosquitoes are going to be bad here because this is like wetlands mixed in. Like right over there, you can see the water right over here. I better watch my step. Anywhere there's water, there's wildlife, such as snakes. You see, there's a pond of water right there. Wow. Wow. Oh, <laughs> another thing I just noticed. Fire ring. I'm so excited. I'm, I, I'm just uh, going 90 miles an hour in my mind. So yeah, I'll just stay parked right here. And I am assuming somebody's going to be coming up here. And once they see my van... They're going to want to have to turn around. So I'll leave all this space here for them to turn around. And if they're really cool, I'll even offer that they could park along this post over here and have their own little campsite over there if they're really cool. Can you believe this is free? So here's my plan. Since I've been moving really fast the last three days, I think I am going to stay here all day today it's only like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Stay here the rest of the day. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to have to mark this site. I'm going to have to put a tent up so people will know it's taken. Because I've noticed that's what people are doing on these other sites up here. They're off exploring. They just set their tent up so you'll know that it's taken. Or I may stay here for another day and a half and just chill here and uh, kind of recover from all the driving I've been doing and uh, all the gas you got to use a lot of gas to get around Yellowstone just uh, I guess you could take the tour bus but I don't want to leave the Matty wagon behind you see this driveway is over a hundred yards long off the main dirt road and it's funny, since I've been here, I've only seen one vehicle, and you just saw it, that old Westphalia van. But on the way up here, I saw I passed like 10 cars, a couple of travel trailers, a bunch of people on mountain bikes. And uh, they came from that direction, so there must be other campsites up there. And you know what I think? I think I found this spot because... When I turned the bend up there, there was a truck pulling a travel trailer. And I think he was coming out of this road. I think they just left. It is Sunday. So if that's what happened, that was perfect timing. Because as soon as they pull out of the driveway, I'm pulling in. Yeah, I think that's what happened. That's the reason this site was open. And of course, this is not in Yellowstone and it's not in Grand Tetons. It's in between. I think it's 191 right over there. I know what I'm going to do this evening. I'm going to break the guitar and the amp out. And I'm going to play. I haven't played or practiced in weeks. I've already lost the calluses on my fingertips. It's been that long since I played. And I'll be able to crank it up out here. I don't have anybody I could bother. That's what I'm going to do. I stopped at the general store and bought some chips and dip. I was getting low on that. Oh, I forgot pickles. I was going to get some bread and butter pickles and I forgot them. So I'll be having to do without them. Let's get a screenshot here. We'll use that right there. That'll be the screenshot. So I'm going to stay here for a couple of days and regroup. And a big shout out to Rebecca and a big shout out to Sonia. They both sent me a PayPal gift and that's going to pay for the camping. Because I'm going back into Yellowstone for a few more days. And then 
to the Grand Tetons and the camping there is even more expensive. So that is going to come in really handy. I really appreciate it. All right, my friends. Until next time, take care, be well, and smash the bell. Thank you.